Hello and welcome to York Art Gallery in my living room. So my name is Sassy Yates and I'm the creative learning producer at York Art Gallery and whilst we are shut we're going to see if we can bring you some art to your living rooms. So this is our wondrous Wednesday workshops and today we are going to be looking at um, sock puppets. I don't know if you've seen we've created a few little tasters of one particularly naughty um, sock puppet called Je Pense, which is French for I think, and I think he's been running around the art gallery and having a fabulous time whilst the visitors are not there and looking at the paintings and looking at the sculptures and he looks a little bit like this. Say hello, je pense. So today's kind of workshop wonder is, can you make your own sock puppet? And it can be an odd sock. In fact, it's probably a good idea because I'm sure you've all got odd socks in your drawers. Um, but make sure you do ask before you start using your parents' favourite socks or your friends' favourite socks or your brother or sister's favourite socks. Don't you agree, je pense? Yes, make sure you ask first and then see what you've got at home because I know that some of you may not have all the art materials in the world so you might have to be a bit inventive about what you do and what you use. Okay, so I'm going to put Japonce down for a moment. There we go. And I've got two odd socks. And I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to put my hand in it first. And it's a good long sock. Long socks are really good. The short ones, not too good. Great for if you're playing sport, but not necessarily if you want to make a sock puppet. So I've got it with a heel down at the bottom where his chin is, or her chin is, or their chin is. And I'm going to make a kind of mouth area there, and I'm just going to see if that feels right. Now what do you think I need to add at this point? Because at the minute, it's my hand in a sock. Yes. You can't see me, can you? And you can't speak to me, can you? So I think mouth and eyes. Okay. Now I didn't have all my materials at home either, so I'm having to improvise too. So I'm gonna start with the mouth and I'm gonna use an old folder, which is a red one, which I thought would work for inside the mouth. So I'm gonna use this one first and I don't have a compass, so I'm going to use a cup and I'm going to put it down on the card. I'm going to get a pencil. I'm going to draw around it. You might need a smaller cup if your sock is small. Otherwise, it's going to have a really big mouth. Draw around it. And then I've got myself a circle there that I can cut out as my template. And it might mean at this point that you need some adult help dependent on how comfortable you are with scissors and just cut around the circle until it's all the way out. Now I'm going to put that to one side because here's one I did earlier. And I've got some glue. Just normal glue. This is PVA glue. Pritt stick probably won't work very well. It's not very strong glue. So I'm hoping that you've got some glue at home. There are parts of this particular workshop actually where you could sew. Um, again, you need some help with that probably from your adults um, because obviously using needles can be quite sharp and you need to make sure you've got good control with that needle. Um, but certainly if you feel confident and you've got somebody there to help you, then using a needle can help with bits of what we do today. I didn't have a glue spreader. I'm using a nail file. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the inside there of the sock and a little bit. Oh, my sock's helping me out. Thank you very much. You've not got personality yet, but you're very helpful. I'm just gonna glue it round the inside circle. And then I'm gonna put it right on the inside and my hand inside the socks really helpful right now so make sure you do that 
And then, because I want my sock puppet to be able to speak, I'm just going to crease that. I'm going to use my hand inside and my hand outside. And I'm just going to fold it. There we go. So we've got a mouth. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Right, eyes. Again, this really depends on what you've got at home. So I did have four japons. Come over, japons. See your cousin. Social distancing. He hasn't got a mouth yet. If you don't want to do the car bit or you can't find any, doesn't really matter because I think he's lovely without. Eyes, I had some pom-poms, as you can see, and I also had some googly eyes, which were great. But if you don't have those at home, don't think you can't do this. It just means inventiveness. What can you find at home that you think, okay, that would work as eyes. So I was having a rummage around and I was seeing what else I had at home. And I had some buttons. So buttons are a fantastic idea for eyes. And you can glue these on too. But this is the bit where actually, if you've got somebody at home that can help you, they potentially can do a little bit of the sewing for you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe ask and see. But on this occasion, I'm going to use a little bit of glue. Now, because this is a PVA type glue, it is strong, but it's strong, it's strong when it sets. So at this point, obviously it's not, is it? It's very, it's, it's malleable still, isn't it? It's moving around, it's still wet. So I'll have to be a little careful with this until it dries. They will fall off until it sets. And don't worry about going around and seeing some of the white of it either because PVA glue dries clear, which is fabulous, isn't it? Good. A little bit more glue for the second eye and we are beginning to get a personality. So we have a mouth and we have eyes and the next thing we may well need, although I don't, or a little bit at the front, is hair. So have a think about that. So for Japon's, I think, and I thought I could use pipe cleaners, which is exactly what I did with him, with them. So they have got pipe cleaner hair. This one, what are you called? Has not got any. So let's just think what we could use. So if you don't have pipe cleaners at home, that's fine. I'm gonna take my hand out now for a little bit. There we go, just gonna put you down there. You look a bit like a snake. If you don't have pipe cleaners, don't worry. If you did, then this is quite a loose weave sock. It's quite, quite chunky knit. And so with this, it was really easy. I didn't have to glue and I didn't have to sew. What I did was I put right the way through, bent it round and brought it back again and created these kind of mad kind of hairdos. And then you can bend these too, which is a fantastic thing about pipe cleaners. They take on a shape. So if you have them, great. If you don't, I'm thinking an alternative could be wool. And if you didn't have that, an alternative could be ribbon and if you didn't have that start thinking about what you could do so shoelaces but ask don't just take them out of someone's shoes um that could be a good idea but on this occasion i am going to use the wool so i've got lots of it in a kind of bunch like this i'm trying to keep it fairly neat and in the middle of that i'm just going to tie one of the loose strands, which I've got separate, I don't know if you can see that there, and I'm just going to tie that in the middle, quite tight, and I'm going to knot that again, quite tight, and then there we are, we've got our hair. I'm going to put my hand back inside the snake, just to help me. So back inside I go. Remember it's still drying this one. And actually they're staying quite well, aren't they, those buttons, even though it's still wet. A little bit more of PVA glue that I'm gonna use. 
Mm. And actually, I think we could do with a bit of a haircut before I put you together. Let's just, can I do this with you? Yes, you can try. No. I'm just going to trim it a little bit so it's a bit even. Because actually when I put mine together it maybe wasn't quite even on the ends. There we go. Is that looking better? One strand there that's loose. There we are. Back in the snake. Using my makeshift glue spreader, which is actually a nail file. Quite a bit on there. Might soak through a little bit to your hands, so just watch that. A little bit more. <laughs> You're fabulous. Just press it down, what's well, good contact with that glue underneath just to give it a chance to set and then we've got the basics of your sock puppet what else would you like? a hat? Oh, a hat you could go quite wild with these once they've got their eyes, their mouth, their hair think about the other things that you could add to give your sock monkey or puppet even some personality. So as your ponce, here you are. Meet your friend, Snakey. I think that's everything for now. Do let me know how you get on and if you're really stuck or you want to do a little bit more then there is a worksheet and a time or place for you to draw. So I have put those on the website for you. Have a look on the Art Gallery website for the sock puppet worksheets and you can draw, you can write a story, you can give them personalities, you can photograph them and I would love to see what you've done. Absolutely. So send them to me. Bye. 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 Bye.